I want to talk to you today about a sin that I was a slave to, that I was in bondage of for many, many years of my life. A sin that tore my whole life apart several times over. And I, I tried AA, I tried NA, DNA, DEA, doesn't matter, none of it worked. The only thing that worked to free me from the sin, free me from the bondages of this sin, is Jesus Christ. I guess I should have had AAA, because that would have got me out of some of the ditches I went into. Now the sin I'm talking about is drinking. Yes, drinking is a sin. And it's even a sin at the St. Mary's Festival. Because it says in the Bible that wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The bread of deceit is sweet to a man, but afterwards his mouth shall be filled with gravel. Now let's go to uh, Galatians 6-7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whosoever a man soweth, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. Now let's talk about uh, God is not mocked. Let's go to wine as a mocker in Proverbs 14.9. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Fools make a mock at sin, but among the righteous there is favor. Now let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning, that they may follow strong drink that continue until night, till wine inflame them. Then you wake up with your mouth full of gravel. The Bible says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Now I want to go to the rage. I think it only uh, talks about rage like three times in the King, King James Bible, the, the ultimate authority. But let's go to Proverbs 6.34. For jealousy is the rage of a man. Therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. For jealousy is the rage of a man. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that deceiveth wicked imaginations, feet that be swift running to mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. That sounds like a drunk sitting in a bar, doesn't it? Sounds just like it. Now let's go to... Proverbs chapter uh, 4, I'm sorry, let's go to Acts chapter 4, verses 25 through 26. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage, and the people imagine vain things? The kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. Wine is a mocker. Strong drink is raging. And whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Now I want to talk about this horrible bondage of sin. Like I said, I've tried AA, NA, DNA, DEA, doesn't matter because it's all junk. The only thing that saved me from this sin is Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Now let's go back to Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23, verses 29 through 35. Who hath woe? Who hath sorrow? Who hath contentions? Who hath babbling? Who hath wounds without cause? Who hath redness of eyes? They that carry long at the wine, they that go to seek mixed wine, look not upon the wine when it is red, when it giveth its color in the cup, when it moveth itself all right. At the last, it biteth like a serpent, and stingeth like an otter. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thy heart shall utter perverse things. Yea, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of a mast. They have stricken me, shalt thou say, and I was not sick. They have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake? I will 
I will seek it yet again. I will seek it yet again. Now let's go to uh, Proverbs 20, verse 1. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. Now I want to talk about it in uh, Ephesians, one of the most commonly misquoted verses about drinking. Chapter 5, 17 through 18. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess. Don't be drunk a little bit. Don't smell it. Don't look at it. Wherein is excess. Be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, they, they, they call liquor spirits. But it's not the Holy Spirit. It's evil spirits. It's evil spirits of sin that will keep you in bondage and ruin your life. I know. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding that the will of the Lord is. Oh, dear Lord, I thank you for giving me the opportunity to give this message. It means a lot to me, Lord, and I, I thank you, Lord, for conquering this sin for me. I couldn't do it. Nothing else could do it, Lord. Only, only you could do it. And Jesus, I thank you. In the holy name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, amen.